The Tupolev 2214, a modernized version of the Soviet era 2204, is expected to be a critical component of Russia's civil aviation sector, as the nation endeavors to increase its domestic aircraft production. Russia is reviving and expanding the 2214 program in response to Western sanctions and the urgent need to reduce dependence on Western built airplanes. Several significant developments have been implemented, including the retention of a three member cockpit crew a planned annual output of at least 20 aircraft from 2027 to 2028, and a renewed emphasis on cargo variants. A. The continued use of a three-member cockpit crew is a distinguishing characteristic of the 2214's forthcoming production run. The 2214 will maintain its traditional configuration of two pilots and a flight engineer, in contrast to the majority of modern commercial aircraft which are designed for two pilots, with automation handling many of the tasks that were previously assigned to a flight engineer. This decision is indicative of the technical and regulatory realities that exist in Russia. The Russian government has denied that there is an immediate intention to convert the 2214 to a two-pilot cockpit, particularly for state and special aviation operations. Although Russian airlines have indicated a preference for the more efficient two-pilot configuration, the short-term transition has been hindered by the challenges of redesigning the cockpit and obtaining regulatory sanction. Consequently, the 2214 will continue in its production and operation with a three-person crew for the foreseeable future. This approach is not without challenges. The 2214's limited use by commercial airlines in recent years has been attributed to the increased operational costs resulting from the presence of a third crew member. Nevertheless, the configuration provides certain operational advantages, including the capacity to sustain cockpit coverage during pilot absences and improved redundancy. The three-member crew will remain standard, particularly for government and specialized missions, despite ongoing discussions about modernization as reaffirmed by Russian officials. It is anticipated that a transition to a two-pilot cockpit may ultimately occur, as production scales up and technological solutions are developed, however, the switch is not a current priority. The 2214 production is on the brink of a huge expansion. The Kazan Aviation Plant is preparing to increase its production capacity to a minimum of 20 aircraft annually by 2027 and 2028, following years of limited manufacturing. This ambitious objective is a direct response to the pressing need for domestically produced aircraft and the obstacles presented by sanctions. The Kazan plant is undergoing the establishment of new assembly lines and modernized facilities, as the Russian government is making substantial investments in the requisite infrastructure and technology to accommodate this production rise. Major Russian airlines, such as Aeroflot, are anticipated to be among the primary consumers. The 2214 has approximately 30 unit orders currently, and long term demand is anticipated to be even greater. The emphasis on cargo variants is another critical component of the 2214's revival. The demand for cargo aircraft that are specifically designed for this purpose has experienced substantial growth in both Russia and its allies. The 2214 is ideally adapted for freight operations due to its long range and rugged design, which enable it to compete against other Western freighters in terms of operational flexibility and payload capacity. The development of cargo versions is a component of a more comprehensive strategy to address the growing demand for dependable air freight solutions, particularly in light of the ongoing evolution of global supply chains. The Cargo 2214 will also benefit from the ongoing process of localization, as Russian and Belarusian suppliers will replace imported components to assure operational independence. The 2214 is currently undergoing modernization, with a particular emphasis on the substitution of foreign-made avionics, navigation, and safety systems with domestically produced alternatives. This change is essential for both the passenger and cargo versions of the aircraft, as it mitigates vulnerability to external pressures and ensures compliance with Russian certification standards. The viability of these enhancements has been demonstrated by recent test flights of two 214s that have been equipped with new Russian components, 
thereby demonstrating a substantial advancement in the program's localization efforts. In conclusion, the 2214 is poised to become an essential part of Russian aviation in the years ahead. The current regulatory environment and operational tradition are both reflected in the sustained use of a three-member cockpit. Russia's dedication to fortifying its domestic aviation sector is emphasized by the anticipated expansion of production to a minimum of 20 aircraft annually by 2027 and 2028. The 2214's adaptability and relevance in a dynamic global market are further bolstered by the introduction of cargo variants. The 2214 serves as a testament to Russia's commitment to the preservation and expansion of its aviation capabilities, as it confronts the obstacles of international isolation and technological self-sufficiency. Now, do you think the 2214 will never have a two-crew cockpit? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.